Um, most of the major brands that most people have heard of uh, on the footbeds. Um, we do custom footbeds from uh, Master Fit where we take an actual mold of your foot and we do an unweighted version. We give you full support. Uh, those are really popular for you more you more advanced skiers and maybe somebody that's skiing a lot more in their boot and wants a little bit more performance. We do all that. We do custom footbeds here. It's a really great option. Men's boots, same, same manufacturers as the women. We carry uh, Head, Nordica, Dalbello, uh, Nordica, there's a new, uh, there's a new speed machine from Nordica. Red your thing. This is a sweet looking boot. It's a great boot, one of my better selling boots. Um, head, super lightweight. This is one of my popular boots for the men, the, the uh, Head Light Series. Graphene, super lightweight, has a liquid fit system. Really nice boots. Nordica. Another great brand for me, so a lot of Nordica boots. Uh, Dalbello, another great selling boot. This is a boot, something some of what I've seen. It's a three piece boot. Uh, comes with a, what we call a intuition, intuition or a, a full, full foam liner. Great fitting boot, a lot of performance in this boot. Uh, you guys that are looking for a great skiing boot, that's one of them right there. Um, any of those three piece boots. They do a version of that HF I showed you there. For the women, one one buckle, get in your boot, lock it in, done deal. So again, the HF from Nordica, Solomon, new boot from Solomon, the QST, uh, the Shift Pro, uh, probably gonna win a lot of awards this year. It's their uh, pin type boot. So if you're if you're really looking to walk in your boot, that's the new Solomon Shift, Shift Pro, really sharp looking boot, good fitting boot, high quality, very lightweight. Super popular. Uh, some of the other new brands, the S Max, Technica came out with a new boot this year. Uh, here it is. This is the new Technica Mach 1. Uh, this has a lot of technology. This is for advanced skier boots, a 130 flex. This is, uh, they make this boot in high volume, medium volume, and low volume. Most of the Technicas come in all three flavors, which are low, medium, and high volume. They have the new uh, drive system. It's a new type of uh, actually uh, plate here that we can manipulate uh, and tune in the future, hopefully, that we can change these plates and tune the boot for performance or your type of skiing or flex. We can actually tune, has, uh, again, Technica high-end, strictly boot manufacturer. We carry the, uh, the high-end brands here. Technica is one of them. We carry their Cochise all-terrain boot. Uh, Salmon, Develo, Nordica, Lang. Everybody's probably familiar with Lang brand. We carry all most of the models for Lang. Here's a new boot from Lang, brand new on the market. You can see a lot of awards come out for this boot. This is an XT3. It's again that uh, new pin type uh, all-terrain boot. You can walk in this with a pin type binding. Really good looking boot. Uh, Lang is. Uh, Really making some nice stuff. Rosin Old Lang has a really easy, user friendly engagement on your puff. We'll see, those will probably last about a day here. Uh, RX LX models, same with Lang. Again, K2 brand on the boots. We carry most of the, the models on K2 also. And then uh, Ski Wise, again, similar to the women's. We carry the DPS brand. Uh, some of the uh, some of the women's, a little bit more variety here for the men's. We got the Alchemist, uh, uh, we got the uh, 100s, the 106, the 110, the 113. We got the Powderworks version, uh, the Kelsera 94. So great selection of DPS. Come on in. If you're looking for a DPS, we got them. Uh, Blizzard, similar to the women, super popular. The old Bonafide, probably one of the better selling skis over the last 10 years. People are familiar with the Brahma and the Bonafide and also the Cochise. Similar skis, high quality, top of line. Uh, Solomon again came out with uh, the new Stance. Okay, we got it in the 90. This is a brand new ski this year from Solomon. Similar to what I mentioned on the women's. Uh, it's a very high quality ski for Solomon. Haven't seen anything like this from Solomon and I don't think ever. So, wood carbon and metal, super, super performance. High, super high quality. We also carry it in the uh, 
the 96 with, which is really popular too. So that's the Stamps by Solomon. We also carry Dina Star, the 4x4, which is uh, highly rated for an all mountain ski on mountain, I call it. It's a 8 and 200 foot uh, great ski. It's probably very underrated, but uh, uh, that's the 4x4. Four four. Uh, and then moving into, uh, there's the Menace, which is a twin tip. Great ski too. Again, Faction, new line for me, the 3.0 Prodigy. This is a super popular ski this year. This is going to be the go-to twin tip. Again, the all-mountain free, free ride twin tip. Okay, this is a, this is a, this is a, this is Elvis's probably ski he's going to be skiing on right here. <laughs> that or the Candide. That's another one. There's the Candide again. That's the Candide, uh, Candide 2.0. We carry it in all the great sizes. Another uh, twin tip performance ski. Uh, this is for uh, you know it's similar to that Prodigy. It's an all mountain free ride twin tip with some performance, so you can ride it all over the place. Uh, one of the employees here, Jack, rides it, loves it. Yes. Love it. Okay. Again, the agent. For the guys, the 2.0, super lightweight. This is again reversible, ultra lightweight for uphill efficiency and superb downhill performance. Okay, so uphill, be familiar with uh, what do we call it? Side country, back country, Whatever up country. Yeah, that's it. It's super lightweight. We're going to put a dual purpose binding on that, dual purpose boot on it. And if you're into walking up hills, and skiing down them, that's the ski for you right there. That or the DPS is a specific line I brought in for that situation. Uh, I would highly recommend both of them. Uh, Nordica, again, the Enforcer. Uh, there's not really much to say other than this is probably the number one ski right now on the market. Carried in three different flavors. We carried in the, uh, the 88, the 100, okay. And the 104. So you got three different, three different, uh, three different widths there. All similar in construction. A little different profile between the two, between the three. A uh, little more rocker, maybe a little bit different, different chip profile, but all uh, higher end, uh, all mountain, all situation. Nordica, uh, I, I sell out. I've sold out uh, since I opened every year. I sell out on the, the Enforcer. So. Uh, home run on that too. So the Nordic Enforcer got all those sizes here. Come on in, check them out. We'll probably for sure have your size. But uh, you're in a good stock of Nordicas right now. So as soon as the snow comes, I'm sure they'll all be gone. Rosin though again. Um, the new stuff from Rosy. Uh, the Black Ops Holy Shred. This is a brand new ski. I saw it at the show in Denver last year. Uh, we're carrying in the major uh, lengths, the 172, 182, all-terrain black ops, holy shred. This is a new ski from uh, Rosinol. They totally changed their profile. Um, again, similar to the other skis, wood core and uh, metal, a little bit of metal, some carbon. They have new technology in how they lay up the wood. Uh, I see this ski uh, hitting some home runs this year, too. It's just brand new, uh, starting to hit the market this year. Uh, that's the uh, holy shred, and it comes in. Uh, this is a hundred, no, 98 underfoot. That's a that's going to be a hot seller. And we also brought in the Black Ops Escaper, which is a system ski. It's a wider underfoot. Uh, this is a this is a 93 underfoot. More of your all mountain dual purpose. I like that 93 width. Comes with the brake. Great ski for 800 bucks. Can't I mean. There's nothing else on the market right now with that performance and that that uh, that setup. So um, come on and check it out. That's the ex that's the escaper with the uh, with the bindings. And then the other new skis from uh, from Rosino this year is the Black Ops Sender. They did two different versions in the Sender. This is a this is the regular Sender. Um, Gives, again, gives you a little bit of everything on this ski. It's a big mountain, big boy ski. Uh, this ski here is, uh, this is 103 underfoot. This is the Sender. Different construction. Um, 
and then uh, they have the sender TI. Now anytime you see a TI on a ski, TI is going to represent they have a metal construction on it. So it's a little bit smoother for higher performance people that might be more, a lot more aggressive on the hill. The sender TI is probably going to be the number one ski, I would guess, by the end of next year and the season once people get up on the hill and try it out. Head skis, we carry the, the uh, uh, similar to the women's, they're, they're uh, the V series for the men, we sold out of them, they're so popular. They do a V4, V6, V8, V10, another on-hill uh, system ski, comes with the high-end bindings, uh, again, similar to the Joy series, but it's, it's called the Light uh, Tech, the V series for the men, the V shape. Has a lot of technology you'll see a lot of people winning uh, making money skiing on head products so again high quality can't miss with uh, an on hill ski we carry this uh, all we i carry everything from the v4 through the v10 so another awesome ski uh, the head super shape is a this this little ski is the, the the bad boy on the rack high end heads uh one of the manufacturers along with rosinol and some of the other manufacturers you'll see them on the FIS World Tour, the Rebels, yeah. Lindsey Vaughn skied on and won all our championships on the head ski, so can't go wrong with those. Head Core, another super popular ski, again similar to the one I showed you over there, super light, has graphene technology, another dual purpose all around. You know, what I say is the SUV version, or Head Core, I can guarantee you're going to love this ski, been selling it for years, probably one of my better selling skis on the, on the rack. Uh, Vocal again, the uh, the new Deacon series by Vocal. Um, I ski on this ski, love it. His uh, predecessor was RTM. Can't say anything, but uh, one of the better skis I've ever skied on. Uh, comes with the binding. Uh, it's uh, it's not for the meek. It's for uh, advanced and expert level skier. It comes with the top end marker bindings. Uh, that's why you only see I got one left right now because they are very very popular for those aggressive skiers men skiers I uh, like to go fast with a lot of control uh, Different version of that ski the 80 underfoot is just the width they change the construction a little bit It's a little detuned for not aggressive and then we go through the uh, the uh, the M line or the uh, their fun ski line which is the uh, the Kenja, the Kenjo, the Kendo, and the M5, which has uh, won a lot of awards last year. Uh, very popular ski, the M5 Mantra. Mantra has been out on the market. Another Grand Slam ski right here. Um, we carry all that. And then the Mindbender from K2. Here's a really cool ski. They gave us, uh, I'm going to try to put a pair of bindings on it um, and ski it. But, uh, Titanium is a material you'll see in most skis. Wood core, carbon strips, um, pretty popular in all most of the skis these days. But that's what it looks like inside without the black top sheet. That's the mind bender from K2. Super popular ski. Here's what it looks like with the top sheet on it. Another top of line ski, similar to the women's ski, but tuned more for men. Red band means there's metal in it. So titanium, wood core, carbon strips. Uh, skied on it, loved it. Uh, can't go wrong with the mind bender for sure. Uh, and then uh, again, we do we do on on hill for the men. The, the conic was uh, uh, successor to uh, which was a very popular ski. The Apache line and the Recon and all that. This is the new version, the Icon. Uh, my good friend Rusty Taylor is a K2 uh, guy, he loves this ski, skis on it all day. Scott Willingham too, they love that ski that at Deer Valley or Park City. That's a great ski, comes with the binding, high quality, carbon technology, wood core, metal, all the above. And uh, we also do the 80 Ti, a little bit, little bit less tuned up or a little bit narrow underfoot, but uh, we carry most of them. Mind bender, we carry all the way up to the uh, the Mindbender series, we carry all the way up to 108 and 116, and we do demo most of these these um, these skis and these models. Poles, we carry Rosignol, K2, Leaky, uh, what else? Scott, sorry, Scott Poles, so we carry most of the major brands. 
Um, come on in, we'll size you up correctly, make sure you get the right size poles. Uh, snowboard stuff, we carry a little bit. Um, I'll touch on front bindings. We carry Marker, Solomon, Tyrolia. Uh, traditional bindings these days are pretty much the same. The only difference between most of the binding is how wide the break is. Uh, bindings range from anywhere between $100 and $600. So depending on what you need, what kind of skier you are. We also carry some of the Pintech bindings, which is uh, strictly for going uphill. And you can ski downhill, but typically for walking them. That's the king pin from Marker. Uh, those aren't for the meek. Those are a little, little, little uh, for somebody that's very avid skier and wants something in a Pintech setup. That's for walking in your skis. Tyrolia Attack, super popular binding. Lightweight, I really like this binding. It's high quality, Tyrolia. Uh, you know, most of these bindings are running right around $200. Great bind, low profile, high quality. You can't go wrong with a, with a Tyrolia for sure. A lot of us ski on them here. Uh, that's the Tyrolia. Then we carry Solomon too, and look, here's a binding I want to go over real quick. This is the Shift by Solomon. So this is a new product on the market. This is called the Solomon Shift. It's a dual purpose binding. You can walk in it and ski in it, and it's a full release binding. Uh, both ISO standards, meaning it'll release just like a regular Alpine binding, and it'll also pin tech, so you can actually rock, take your heel out of the heel and walk uphill on it. Pretty simple to use. Flip that down, goes into full pin tech. Push that down, releases the pins. Snap in your boot, lock it in. Pull, pull your pull your heel step up. You're ready to rock and roll. You're walking uphill. To get back down into the regular Alpine, pretty simple to do. Tells you right there. Push it to ski. Lock it down. Step in your binding. There you go, you got your Alpine binding. Super popular, getting more and more popular. Um, it's lightweight, comes with a full brake setup, but uh, that's the shift. They, they do it in a in uh, two different uh, versions, a little bit lighter DIN setting. Uh, they call the 10, but this is the, 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 the bigger boy size. But that's the shift by Solomon. That's a new, new setup for us here in the shop. We also carry Look. Here's another uh, another popular binding. Everybody asked me about these bindings. This is the look. It's a what they call a turntable. Okay, that's the look. Look uh, the look pivot. Very popular binding for some of the folks on the hill. We carry those in the 14s, and I think I might have some of the beefier ones. Uh, but uh, that that's pretty much it. The, the Solomon Warden, another pretty popular binding. The, the Warden 13, higher end binding, step in, great binding, high quality.